representing well the Ubisoft group, which is a, a uh, a worldwide uh, group. We're the third uh, biggest developer in the world. And now since uh, last April, April uh, 2012, we have a studio based uh, in Abu Dhabi where we are developing games and also operating games. So we have two sides uh, in the studio which are distinct. One development and one the operation, local partnership, business development and publishing of games. We're very proud to be the opening speaker for this fifth edition of the Dubai uh, World Game Expo. It was really a, a big honor for us to be invited to do that. During this speech, when I introduced uh, who is Ubisoft uh, on a global scale, uh, what we do in the world, because there are things like we're in the business for over 25 years, actually for 26 years. We're actually the first international game developer to have its studio uh, in, the, well, in the region. And, well, we, we chose the Abu Dhabi in cooperation with the 2454, and we're very proud of that. And this enables people from the region, all the local talents, they now have a door where they can knock at. Which is before, if they, let's say someone was good in programming or was good uh, in a drawing to be an artist, well, he had to fly away uh, from the region and to go to Europe, to USA, Australia, wherever. But there was no one on site who could understand his needs and also train him, teach him the right way of developing games. They're happy because they finally have someone to talk to and someone who knows how to do things. There was a speech this morning uh, of someone who was saying that there were not any developing studio in the region. I said nothing, but I was like, hey, well, yeah, Ubisoft Abu Dhabi is there. And what we hope to do is to be able, we're creating, creating games worldwide for the world. We might, when the right time comes, also develop games through the Ubisoft Abu Dhabi studio, well, for the region, but right now it's for the world. But we want to have, and we do, have local talents joining our team so they can add the flavor, their angle, the way they see things, which is different because it's a different culture in the region, and add that also in our product, and then we'll reach even more people. And when you have uh, someone from one of the countries or in the MENA region, in the Arab world playing, they will feel something, they will feel like, oh yeah, it appeals to me. Well, yes, of course, it was developed in uh, the Abu Dhabi studio with local talents. Well, the development uh, in the region is getting very professionalized. In not all the countries, some are just learning, but I have like, well, in mine, coming which are very professional. Uh, there are lots of uh, game development studios, well, in Jordan, Saudi Arabia, in Egypt. And I've been talking a lot uh, with them, and they're very professional. What they lack is someone like us uh, in the way that we are also publishers of games. And I was just, well, 10 minutes before we started, I was talking with someone from uh, Saudi Arabia, and his game is done, it's finished, but he cannot find any publisher. And so, well, he knew we were there. He saw me because I was the opening uh, keynote uh, uh, speaker. And then he came talk, talk, talking with me. Will it lead to something? Well, I'm not a judge, but at least he was very happy to know. There's someone I can see, someone who's here, someone who cares, someone who understands the Arab needs. I've met more people than I thought I would, and I've met more quality people uh, than I thought. I was very happy to come, but I was like, well, you know, it's, it's my first show uh, in the region. Like, I'm going to see how it is. I'm used to big shows like, well, E3, Gamescom. It's smaller, but the quality is there. Whereas in all, well, Gamescom or E3, you have some quality, but not only. Here there's only quality and people who are very willing and very going forward.